When I first started drawing, that's all I wanted to do. And most of the time, all I could think about. I immersed myself in art on a daily basis, which I loved. There is something about the creative process that makes you want more to improve and tweak what you're good at and what you're terrible at. That's how I was in the beginning and really even now. The problem now is I don't have the time to put in hours on an artwork without feeling like I'm neglecting an important part of my life, which is my family. Now I feel like I have a healthier balance with the people in my life and art. The best I can do with art right now is take one day at a time. When there is a spare moment when a kiddo is sleeping, I try to sneak in 30 minutes to an hour of drawing. When I pick up the pencil, I start with first drawing something that is comfortable, just in case whatever is being drawn isn't able to get the amount of time that it needs, the piece will still look good. What is something that you tend to gravitate to when there just isn't enough time? Portraits have been my go-to since I started drawing. If you would like to see more of my work, I'll link it in the info card above. Another thing that has helped me get back into art is using a medium that I've used many, many times before, and that's a pencil. Picking up a familiar medium was important. I didn't want there to be a pause in my creative process. I want to just get started and not necessarily have to think about how to use the medium. Keeping it sweet and simple was key.
Now that I have drawn something that I'm comfortable with, it's time to draw something new. Recently, I purchased the 642 Things to Draw book from Amazon to try and spark more creativity or to plainly draw things that I would never draw. The first thing that I drew was a rolling pin, which I would never draw, but it was nice to draw a simple item and add a little oomph to it. I also drew a hammock, but unfortunately I don't have the footage of it. Drawing the hammock was a lot of fun because it was new and interesting and me trying to figure out how to draw certain aspects of that hammock was really neat to do. To conclude the video, the best tips I can give someone in a similar position would be figure out why creating stopped, draw with something familiar, use a familiar or easy medium, and draw something new. I hope you like and subscribe to the channel if you found value in this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!